Hi, I want to just very quickly show you how to place a block. Select and Sew is a great place for selecting your block and it makes you pick a block to even get in and the blocks that come with QCT are here and you can arrow down and pick the block you would want. We're just going to grab one and say open and then you can tap on all and it gives you all your different style of, of block placements. I'm going to choose four points for this and you see these four gray circles. They're called nodes and they're placement nodes, okay? And I'm going to move my needle to, if, if I were wanting to place this block on this, I'm going to move my needle to that top corner there and I'm going to tap on that node and I'm going to move my needle to this top corner there and tap on that node. And I'm going to move my needle there and tap on that node and move my needle here and tap on that node, okay? Well, I really don't want the stitching to go exactly to that seam line because maybe that block isn't so wonderfully square. I, I do have stretch selected, so I have four point and stretch, so it's going to conform to the way I place those. If I tap just on one of those zeros, and you'll see the yellow lock is locked, so it's going to do the margins the same way vertically as horizontally, so it doesn't matter which one I tap on, and I can say, you know, I think I would like... Um, maybe an eighth of an inch. So it has these nice fractions already there for you. I don't have to remember 0.125 and I can say, okay. And now it shrunk it in. Okay. And I'm actually ready to tap on quilt at this point. I can, there's a blue disc up here. I can save it if I want to change where it starts and ends. Like right now, the green shows where the stitching starts. The red shows where it end, ends. I can tap on reverse uh, and I lost my placement. How about that? But but it changes that, okay? And um, you know what? We're going to very quickly replace this just so we have it placed. And so it's, it's very quick to place a block. And then it's very quick to give it a margin. And, and so you will see this... Um, three things you have for for quilting. So whatever is checked, when you tap on quilt, is what's going to stitch. Right now, only the pattern would stitch. You're able to do markings, and um, we didn't make any, so we don't need that. If I were to tap on ditch, then if you can see really close, there's a blue line that outlines the pattern. That would also stitch. So if you don't want that to, to stitch, then uh, then don't have that checked and and maybe you want a ditch to uh, uh, you want a ditch to stitch but you don't want the pattern you could stitch the ditch right now and then you could come back here and then you could say well let's change it now to one fourth and say okay and now do the pattern and not the ditch so that your pattern would be stitched a little less than the ditch so that's how quickly it is to um, to stitch your block. You would tap on quilt then, and then you would go into settings and and get your speed and your tie-off count and your stitches per inch and say okay. And then you're ready to tap on pull bobbin. It's going to go to where the green is, and you pull your bobbin and tap sew. So that's how quickly it is to place a block and stitch it out.